welcome to Daylight Appreciation Day for Wacky Maker Do 2022. Yes, it's Daylight Appreciation Day, which means you're supposed to open up your curtains and blinds and let the daylight flow into your house, use a lot less energy, and get outside and enjoy the daylight, which I'm doing today. So this is the front part of the garden I've shown you one side this is like we'll go around the corner and look at the flat side of our triangle so this is where we planted things grass tree and it's doing really well and he finally um, have got the native beehive ready to go in that wall which will be painted this year <laughs> desperately needs a good paint job is the letterbox and just below it is a little hole where all the native bees come in and out of when the weather is at the right temperature. Um, that particular wall and that beehive has been there for a, as long as we've been here, about 20 years. I always say if someone crashes into that wall, it would hold together with honey because native bees do make honey. The idea being of my hive is <laughs> Queen bees are born all the time and they native bees fly off to find a new hive for each queen bee and hopefully they will like this one and build a hive in there. Just to have pollinators, not necess necessarily to collect their honey. They do apparently like grass trees when they bloom. So we'll move a bit along. I've got a couple of old plant pots there with some desert roses and an old cactus we've had for a very long time that grows big and I cut it back. In the corner is my Madagascan palm. I got this as a baby and put it in. I was told it would take 16 years to flower and true enough it took 16 years to the day to flower but it does flower quite a bit. I have to keep an eye on it during the wet season because they can absorb too much water and the stem starts to rot and the plant will die. Here's my red flesh dragon fruit, the younger vine. I've had fruit off that the last two years. I've just started this one here. These are cuttings from my friend Meta. This will be a yellow flesh dragon fruit which is much harder to grow and a lot rarer. So we'll see how we're going. They are established so you never know. This is the old fella, dragon fruit, red flesh again, where I take cuttings from and give to people. And it's still fruiting. There is one more piece of fruit down there that's now ripening. So this is like the flat half of the triangle of our property. That's a frangipani that's dormant at the moment. It flowers beautiful and pink when it flowers. These are two um, screening plants. I don't know what they're called. I should look them up. I've just grown one to put there. I'll explain why a bit further in the video. And there's a double-headed ponytail palm that will get moved when I grow another screening plant. So as you can see, it's the narrow flat end of the triangle, the dead side of the garden, all the air conditioning units. I used to have quite a few veggie beds, garden beds out here, but we had to move them. Uh, for peace of mind. I'll explain as we get further around back and I'll show you a bit more. So yes, for Daylight Appreciation Day I'm going to sit out here in the sun and add some more colours to my um, zigzag blanket that is I'm doing for Rock 2022 AU. I had to move the veggie garden beds because that particular neighbour said I would put them there to spy on her and um, so we move them to this side. I'll show you those another day. Um, the screening plants are because she constantly is peering over the fence looking through the windows and it sort of freaks Reeves out when he because he's quite tall and he can see her and yeah rather than put blinds and screens along there I'm just growing screening plants. Um, she, it's quite weird and they caused me quite a few dramas in 2020 and um, she doesn't speak to anyone in the street. She's not friendly with anyone. Where my chair is, is a young family with three kids. They're lovely. Um, she often apologizes because the kids make a noise and I tell her, don't be silly. They're just having fun. But yeah, I hope you get out today 
and enjoy the daylight and celebrate Daylight Appreciation Day. If you can't do that, open up your house and your curtains and let the daylight in and turn off the electrical lights. Anyway guys, have a wacky make-a-do too and um, I hope you enjoy your day. Bye for now.